Welcome back to Bombastic Nature, the thing, the thing, the thing. I'm Mr. Giant and I'm back with some more vibes for all you. And somebody suggested a watch. This is a really short one, but you know, uh, it sounds kind of interesting. It's called 10 Soviet Union Engineering Achievements. You know what I mean? So we're going to watch this and see what those engineering achievements are. Let's YouTube and Sim Simmer. Introduced in the 1970s, first torpedo to use super cavitation, which helps it to swim 230 miles per hour. Amazing the things we create uh, for war, huh? First ever national satellite television system successfully tested in 1962. The year I was born, fully operational in 1967. Satellite television system. Cool. And you know, I would like to see, really see what uh, Russian TV is like. I wonder. If they have like sitcom, I, mean, I know this is some kind of ignorant, but I don't know because you know they're kind of closed up. Do they have like uh, uh, sitcoms and uh, mini series? Do they have like uh, a police drama? You know, like Law and Order and uh, and things like that. That you know, I would like to see their version of it. And I, I was watching something that uh, where it was uh, the Russian version of Married with Children. <laughs> That's what they call it anyway, but you know that would be that would be interesting to see. Nuclear powered icebreaker. Best kind of icebreaker, effectively better than diesel counterpart, than its diesel counterpart, only produced in the USSR, Russia. Huh. A nuclear powered ship that's an icebreaker. More effective than diesel, that's interesting. Autonom AN-225 Emria. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. The longest and heaviest airplane ever made. Initially built for transporting the Buran, now carrying oversized payloads. Now the biggest one I've seen is uh, during the invasion back home and uh, that plane was huge. I, I don't know what, it's, what type of plane it was. But it was obviously carrying heavy equipment because it went over our little house and shook it like there was an earthquake going on. And because I lived so close to the uh, airport, it was like really low. It felt like I could throw a rock and hit it. But that was a big plane. And I, I went down to the airport and watched it take off. And it was, it, it was like a slow motion. It was so big, you know, moving. But this one here is the, the longest and the heaviest airplane ever made. Wow. That's a lot of power that's going to take to move that. And it's definitely some crucial engineering. Yeah, it's carrying a shuttle too. AK-47. Including copies. It's the world's most produced assault rifle, roughly 75 million units, cheap and reliable. 
Yeah, we had a lot of those on the island. Those things would eat you up. Sputnik 1. First ever artificial Earth satellite launched from Boyne Conor Cosmodome into the Earth, into the low Earth orbit on the 4th of October 1957. Wow. But I remember all the talk about Sputnik and stuff. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, for some reason, I had a, well, not a friend, but some guy I know, that his nickname was Putnik. I don't know why they call him that. Don't know what happened to him uh, anyway. He, he was a high school teacher. I haven't seen him in years. Vostok 1. Vostok 1. First successfully manned space flight launched on April the 12th, 1961 with Yuri Gagarin on board. I wonder what happened. I wonder what what happened to him. You know what I mean? Because we, we don't get their history much here. I would look, I'm, I'm going to have to Google it to find out what happened to him. You know. What happened to his uh, his children, if he had any, and stuff like that. That would be good to know because, I mean, it's the first successful, successful man's space flight. I also wonder if there's a disputing of this somehow. You know, because, you know, it was a race to the moon back then, you know. Wow. RD series rocket engine. Developed during space race, used even by NASA today, thanks to its amazing efficiency and reliability. Cool. Engineering achievements. But, you know, nobody, nobody tells you that NASA is using it today. I'm not even going to attempt as apparatus. Used in orthopedic surgery to lengthen or reshape limb, bone, limb bones. In 1971, Lazarov, I can't pronounce it, center was uh, proposedly, purposely established, proposedly established for orthopedic you know I've, I've heard of that and i heard it's a very painful procedure and how it was explained to me is that uh, over time it sort of stretched the bone uh comment down below tell me if this is still used i'm not sure i don't see it advertised or anything anywhere i don't know if it's still used widely or not comment down below let me know Ostantino Tower, Ostantino Tower, Tower. World's tallest tower between 1967 and 1975, the height of 1.772 feet, 540.1 meters. Whoa. Okay. What was that tower for? Please enlighten me in the bottom. Uh, I would like to know it because it didn't give him too much details of what the use of it is, uh, you know. But this was quite interesting. Oh, these people have uh, I'm gonna have to check these out some more. 10 craziest subway maps, 10 craziest engineering projects in China. Now China has got some 
crazy uh, engineering stuff going on there. But anyway, man, this was interesting. This was interesting. Some of it I already knew, like the put, the spot take and the uh, the AK forty seven on the island. We call it the AK forty seven. I don't know why we call it that, but that's what we call it. You know what I mean? And uh, the, the the first manned space flight knew about that stuff there. So some of it I knew. Uh, the military side of stuff, no, I'm not uh, except for the uh, for the rifle. But that's because that thing is everywhere. <laughs> But uh, thank you all for watching this with me, man. If you guys uh, are watching and so you're not subscribed, consider subscribing, man. I'm doing a lot of history stuff, cool stuff like this, you know, uh, comes up, you know. And uh, I'm trying to incorporate more cultural stuff in the near future thing. You know, I tried before, but I keep getting copyright claims. So I've got to find another way of doing it, you know. I don't want to be uh, using other people's stuff without educating people but anyway man thank you all for watching this with me take care of each other cool runnings